Hey guys, it's Steve with Lakeside Forge. Um, today we're going to be forging a broom handle. So, uh, nothing really fancy, just some techniques that everybody's already seen. Uh, I'm going to be putting a broom on the end of it. Um, I'm going to tie the broom myself. So, here we're starting with the taper. Just on the end of a uh, 3 8 bar. 3 8 square bar. Uh, this bar here is 22 inches long. And I'm just uh, drawing it out to whatever diameter I find fit. I believe I pulled it out to be about, a, uh, about an eighth of an inch at the end. And I'm just going to taper that out to my desired length and uh, diameter. And uh, then we'll go on from there. during my taper what I'm doing is I'm rolling the material and I'm kind of necking it almost and each little hump I make every time I hit it on the edge of the anvil I whack down with my next hit so uh, it draws it out really fast and it's pretty easy to do so keep that in mind when you're drawing out a long piece or something bad or whatever that's going to take a while you can do that and then once you get it a dull heat like this um, you can just planish it with your hammer and clean it up a little bit. Forge while the iron's hot, so keep it uh, hot while you forge it and clean it up while it's cold. Or not cold cold, but cool enough. Dull red. Alrighty, and uh, we're going to be forging the scroll on the end. So, knocking it down and pulling it back to yourself. Never hitting the same place twice. And I'm rolling it up in my hand to uh, keep my hammer off the same place. Whack it down again. Pull it back. Roll it up. I got a flat spot in that. Everybody can see that. And you see where it just bent instead of the whole metal moving. That's because I hit in the same place twice. When you clean it up, you can hit in the same place twice, though. So, clean it up, make it a little, little more round. Using the edge of the anvil to get into the corners where my hammer can't go. Okay, and that scroll's done. And, um, I'm sorry I forgot to put, um, forging the handle loop in. I forgot to turn on the camera for those but uh, everybody knows how to forge a handle loop. Um, this is just texturing here. We're doing some random texturing. Uh, that's, that's why my uh, hammer is going all over the place. I'm just kind of throwing it down and letting it go where it wants. Put some texture in the steel. Give it some look to it. Because really all the broom handle is is a long piece of steel with a handle and a flat piece on it. So. You want to give it some texture, give it something interesting, otherwise it'll be pretty boring. Uh, you could twist it or whatever, but I figured just texture it, give it some neat look. Seeing if it's straight, it can be the prettiest thing in the world, but if it's not straight, it isn't worth much. Alright, here we go. I'm just uh, flattening out this in here like a wood for a wall hook. I'm just going to drill a hole in it so that way when I tie my broom I'll have a place for my string to go. <coughs> and uh, that's it for forging a broom handle. So uh, you just drill a hole in that little flat bit there and you're all set. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.